This field might not look like much right now, but it's one of the future sites of my Native American gardens. Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds at rareseeds.com gave me a, a huge pile of seeds. I got seeds. Lots and lots and lots and lots of seeds. This thing's full of seeds. I got them from the Baker Creek Heirloom Company. Rareseeds.com and I'm gonna do a giveaway. If you've been tracking this channel, you know exactly where this is headed. It's another way that we can help feed ourselves from the land and yet another experiment in wilderness living. We hope that farming will help fill in those gaps in our diet as it did for our ancestors. Baker Creek Seeds specializes in historically rare species, ones that have long histories. They even carry Gaite Ocosamine seeds, the giant Native American squash which was featured earlier on this channel. Now this is where you come in. Because Baker Seeds piled on even more seeds than I can handle myself, I'm going to offer them to you, my subscribers. If participating directly in this type of garden isn't for you, you may still want to check out rareseeds.com anyway as they have some fabulous and very interesting varieties of old seeds from around the world. Baker seeds are really not expensive, with their cost comparable to boring engineered hybridized seeds you might find at any store, except these have color, flavor, and a fabulous history. Such a great way to connect to our ancestry and find a better connection to our land. Laid out here are all the seeds I have for various gardens. Part of the aim of this channel is not only to get you thinking, but also to challenge you to get out there and get active in trying to feed yourself more in line with the methods used by our ancestors. It is only by doing as they did that we can appreciate the struggle to exist. But this won't be a random draw. Instead, I want to partner up with people out there who will make a strong commitment to growing and documenting their gardens and sharing their progress and results with our viewers. This will be done preferably through video or images and will be shared on my channel. If you aren't going to follow through with a garden and don't have the space to do one, this project isn't for you. To apply, you can write to me in the email provided in the about section of the channel. To have a better chance of being selected, include a photograph of the land where you plan to plant your garden with you standing in front of it, as well as your geographic location and a short pitch as to why I should choose you. Be sure to include your gardening experience. You're also welcome to make a video pitch. This would be suitable to people who already have a YouTube channel. I have selected seeds that will work around the Great Lakes region, so your climate is important. The seeds I have to offer include corn, beans, squash, and pumpkins. I have enough for five people. Here are the seeds that I have for offer. For more details, please visit the description box. Native Americans also planted tomatoes, potatoes, sunflower, as well as Jerusalem artichoke, a type of tuber. To be period specific, you should try to add some of those as well. Natives were commonly believed to have planted the three sisters in a way that allowed the beans to climb the corn and the squash to blanket beneath to protect against scavenging animals. However, other more effective ways will produce higher yields. In fact, early depictions from the 1580s showed no evidence of the so-called Three Sisters gardening. Once again, more legend finds a way into our minds to become so-called fact. The use of trellises for climbing beans and block planting corn and squash is a far more effective way to produce high yield. However, as was the case with the Native Americans, some care will need to be exercised in order to prevent cross-pollination of the corn with other nearby corn, the same for squash. While natives could not benefit from the use of animal manure, it is strongly recommended. Natives did not have access to animal waste since they did not employ animal husbandry. No suitable animals were found here before Europeans. Deer, buffalo, moose, and bears make poor livestock for obvious reasons, unlike cows, pigs, and chickens. When planting, be authentic, but modern improvements and innovations including tools are welcome. 
We can't exactly employ slash and burn techniques to help free up new fields and introduce nitrogen or move our fields around every few years as the natives did once soils became depleted. So we must be realistic. When new tools were on offer, natives quickly traded for them and used them, and so should you. I've included more information about the seeds I chose for my garden, as well as a couple links discussing Native American gardening techniques in the description box. The seeds were carefully selected as edible rather than decorative and as historically accurate as possible. Moving forward, remember, as always, that life is a continual search for energy.